Hey everybody, it's Chain. Welcome back to another video. Today I've got a tutorial for you guys on Minecraft. Now, this basically works on every other game, but I'm just going to be demonstrating it using Minecraft. So, I've got my DualShock 4 controller over here, and I am controlling it with the my controller. And this is Minecraft, and um, I'm doing this for a reason, but um <clears throat> this is a tutorial on how to get your controller working with minecraft now it's free no cost nothing and it's really really simple you just need to uh, you know, get this software that i'll be linking in the description so yeah as you can see uh you can move around in minecraft now you're gonna need to set this up just a little uh, it takes 10 minutes or something you know it's not that bad and um uh, i mapped everything i can go through the um Hotbar, I can bring up the inventory, I can drop my item, where well, I want to pick that up. And I can jump, and I have a map this button, and I can also place down and break. And that's pretty much simple stuff, all you need for Minecraft, and I love it, it works really, really well. And even the hotbar is really fast, I love this. Um, most of all, I love the controller, you know. Um, so let's see how you can get this working now. This is uh, possible with every game and um, You can set, uh, you can map any any function of this controller. So uh, first of all what you're gonna need I'm gonna just Demonstrate it right here. Uh, you're gonna need this application is called DS4 Okay, and uh, as you can see it's connected up right now and uh, I can use a I've got a profile set as Minecraft. Now this uh, application is known as DS for Windows and uh, allows you to ma work with um, um, so you can use your du DualShock 4 controller or a PS3 or a Xbox One or a 360 controller pretty much any controller I guess with the um, uh, Windows. So you go on Google and search DS for Windows and it's the first one right over here by JS, JS2 Kings and uh, this will bring you with this website um, now this is a fake one because it has the windows logo on so yeah um, you can just click go download now and I'm not going to show you how you can set up the application because the instructions if you scroll down are right over here okay um, they're right over here so you can go ahead and uh, read all that through but I will take you through the um, application so what you've got is basically your controllers hooked up now you're gonna have to have this wired up you can't use it without wires you know bluetooth i mean you might be able to use it through bluetooth i haven't been uh, now i haven't used this uh, application at all i've just uh, loaded up for now just for now um and what you uh, there are little options over here so profiles auto profiles and whatnot you know um all your simple stuff and you can actually stop this whole process by just clicking stop and it'll just disconnect the controller and whatnot now under controllers whatever controller you connect on it will show the id the status the battery life and also the profile selected now you can edit this and you can change every controller over here every little function of this controller and you can match it to whatever you want now, i'll go through this on my settings but this is it right here now if you go on the profiles uh, i can just click cancel over here these are all the profiles i've only got minecraft because i've got this just for playing minecraft um, i don't really use this but you know got it for right now and we also got auto profiles which uh, i don't know what that is but we're gonna go through minecraft um just because i've got it set up for minecraft i'll show you mine you click on edit you can make new ones and whatnot you can even duplicate sick um so go ahead and click edit now this is basically all your controls or any, anything that you can map and down here are the selections so the cross the circle button the square the uh, triangle options and you know every button on this controller you can even click it and map it right up and then i can press a button on the keyboard or whatnot to actually map that but i've got it mapped already um the way i like it and um special actions don't know what the heck this is you can go ahead and find out um readings this is where you can test the controller so i've got my left stick if i move it it's actually going to move the left stick over here it's really cool i love this up and it's even got the uh, uh axis it's the six axis uh sensor over there and it's got the right stick which all controls the mouse over here also awesome have you got the l2 um this is now they were pressure sensitive but until i got this up it's pretty amazing is this and we also got r2 which is sensitive and we also got the gyro and also the accelerometer 
which are um, right over here. Now we've also got also uh, little customizations for your controller. So I've got a purple light, but you can see a little blue. I don't know if I can actually uh, show you this, um, but it's not blue. It's actually per pink. And that's because it's 50% charged. I've actually got it on um, the settings over here. You know, uh, if it's not um, while charging is normal or whatnot. I've actually got the settings over here, which is pretty sick. And um, I've actually got the sensitivity right over here. Now for Minecraft, I've got it on 75 with, with the acceleration off because I don't like the acceleration. And you can pretty much set this up, you know. Um, I'll set up just the way that you would work on a uh, PS4. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I don't want to use, um, I don't want to save any changes to that. But I can actually uh, click new profile, make a brand new one, and they actually change the color to bright blue. Just you know. Um, and if I do that, it's actually going to change it back because I didn't want to change it. But, anyways. So just go ahead and get this application. I know this isn't the best video on this application. I'm really sorry for that. You can close this. It won't really mess you up. I hope is it. No, I closed it. Yeah, simple. Just open it up again. Now, if you disconnected it, it should be like normal charging pulsing. And if you connect it up, um, it should automatically connect. And as you can see, it just changed the color. Now just click off it and application should disappear or just leave it alone or you can just minimize it i guess it will disappear from the hotbar and you can control it straight away it's pretty sick so i'm actually going to be using this for the let's play because it's more comfortable to use and everything but you know you don't have to use it i'm just going to use it because i wanna so yeah that's all for this video it's a little tutorial um thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy go ahead and give a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and comment down below if you have anything to say or anything you want to know about this and thank you for watching i'll see you again in a different video